Randy and Sandy and kids. Oh, jeez Louise, guys. Looks like I got my tractor stuck. Hmm, what am I gonna do? I wish there was like a magical unicorn or something that would come help me out. <laughs> Good luck with that ever happening. <laughs> Did someone say magical unicorn? <laughs> That's me! Looks like that tractor's buried to the frame. Good thing I've got magical powers. Just give me one second and I'll have that thing up in a jiffy. <laughs> it's a little heavier than I thought. Here I go. Let's try again. Oh, it's heavy. Let me... Oh, wow. This tractor's heavy. Man, oh man. This tractor must weigh a billion pounds. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe you got my tractor unstuck. That's amazing. Oh, but the water's getting closer. What are we gonna do? Oh, oh! No, the salt water's gonna rust my John Deere tractor. <laughs> no! Hey, Ellie. Hi. What you doing? Hey, Sandy. Hi. You feeling a little salty today? A little bit. <laughs> Your hat. Yeah. Your hat says salty. Why don't you tell them why, Randy? Why? Why don't you tell them why I'm feeling salty? Just got here to the beach. Hope everybody had a good Christmas and a happy new year. Nice fishing over there. Oh, what? It's so like say, say what you just said. Randy. <laughs> good. Say it. Cut it off. Say it. Alright, it's off. Girls, you're not supposed to be up that far. Come on. Already complaining about her hookah. Hocus. Is it hook hocus? Stepped on my what is shoes. It? It's probably Cassidy. I'm pretty sure that's a pine, pine tree. That's a palm tree. This was a pine tree. Agreed? Randy, you got any tissue? I'm about to sneeze. No, let's go ahead and sneeze. I need a tissue. Please use your shirt, Randy. No. Found any gold? Snack with it. I guarantee you I can break that. Here, hold it. Is it on Here. this way? Hold on. I can't see if it. Go. Very good, Randy. What is it? How do I turn it off? Where's the baby? Baby is right there. No, oh, Cassidy, you're gonna fall again. Sun's out, gun's out. Watch out. Pa pow. <laughs> what? Oh, Cassidy, I told you. Cassidy, come on. You all right? What happened? The what? The old, the old pine horse done chunked you off. <laughs> seabird, seabird. It's kind of cloudy and overcast today. A lot of times the weather's perfect, sometimes not so much. a new segment we're starting out and it's to help out new pet owners because we realize that getting a dog is a big responsibility so you got to bathe them so this is Cassidy's new segment called washing dogs washing dogs wait bathing dogs what what why is it doing this it's going blurry bathing dogs bathing dogs all right <laughs> First step. What's the first step, Cassidy? Get the dog wet. None get in his eyes. Check. Don't shake him. 
me to get you? No. Who's calling me? Okay. So the next step, I um, have a towel to lay it flat on the floor. Get the dog out. He's going to shake. Uh, I don't, oh, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he's cold. He must be cold because he's shaking. <laughs> All dogs shake. All right, dry him off. Then, next step is just to dry the dog off. The sixth step is just to do this. What does that do? Just... Just to drag him up. Oh, it's like a speed. It's like a speed cycle. Gotcha. Then, I don't think he really liked it, though. Then, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna hurt him. Put him down. You gotta be careful. Dotsons have bad backs, I think. Okay. Poor, poor kid. Okay, there we go. Hey, everybody. And if you're in the market for a beach house or some land by the coast, exciting. Newt, Cassidy, honey. Ready? Action. RSRealtree.com. We're going to be selling beach houses, land by the beach, and anything beach related. Port St. Joe, Cape Sandblast, East Point, Weewahitchika, you name it. Here's some of the amazing sites and properties we'll be listing. Looks like I need to walk the plank. Here, get this way. You can tell it's too small. I had this shirt when I met you. Yep. 2006. It's very small, but it's still. 10 Ow. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sandy is Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the beach. What you eating, Sandy? I made this new fudge. Girls. Your mom was telling me something. I couldn't hear it because y'all acting wild. What was it? Look, Randy. What you got there? I make fudge and cookies. Please. Fudge and cookies. I love me some fudge and cookies. Wash them. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at her. She's in her natural habitat. Let's get real mad at us. What is it? Oh goodness. She's a lion. Ow! <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna go check on the crop. We'll meet y'all over there. seen a cotton candy field and we've got all of your uh, emails and questions you've been sitting in so we're gonna an we're, we're gonna answer them okay Josh Johnson wants to know what is the best yield of cotton candy crop you've ever had girls run and go get him just go get him let's go get the dog Josh Johnson wants to know 
What is the best yield of cotton candy crop you've ever had? Great, great question, Josh Johnson. Where was he from? Um, Kansas. Hey, hey, Josh from Kansas. So our best yield, this is our third year growing cotton candy, uh, has been 600 pounds per acre. Um, conventional cotton, you know, 1,500 pounds would be a phenomenal yield. Uh, but we're still trying to figure it out, but 600 pounds or traditional sugar cotton candy uh, has been our best. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. We're gonna pick this in just a little bit. What we got next? Elena from Washington State wants to know, do you have to spray herbicides and fungicides on the cotton candy? Great, great question, Elena. Um, now, we, we do have to spray a little bit of herbicide. There's um, a lot of goosegrass uh, is attracted to the sugar content and the uh, cotton. Uh, but as far as fungicides, the only, the biggest issue, of course, would be the uh, sugar bug. And that's a small microscopic bug that once the cotton candy starts producing in about 30 days, um, it will extract all the sugar. And then you have... She needs a baby wipe. Uh, but after that sugar bug eats all the sugar out, you pretty much just have bland cotton candy. Th thanks so much for your question. Who we got next, Andy? Well, we have a bunch next left, but I think we need to wrap it up. <laughs> Andy, take two. Penny wants to know, who do you sell your cotton candy to? Great question, Penny. And when we started growing cotton candy, we knew it would be a risk. Um, but uh, we found a great seller of a Dollar General, actually. Uh, we sell directly to them. Uh, we actually package it all up. We're gonna show you guys that in a little bit. And um, that's, that's who we sell to, Dollar, Dollar General. Thank you guys for all of those email questions. Absolutely. Randy, tell us more about cotton candy production. Well guys, like I said, we, we, this is about our third year growing cotton candy here in North Florida. Uh, I know a lot of people um, were against it because it is high risk. Uh, one of the biggest threats would be rainfall. If you get too much rain, uh, you'll lose it. Um, maybe we'll show some footage of the, you know, it's already dropping on the ground pretty good, more so than conventional cotton. So that's really our biggest threat is a, is a heavy windstorm or, a, you know, a real big heavy downpour really will just drop this cotton candy on the ground. Uh, but I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. We plant it the same way as we do conventional cotton. We're on 36 inch rows. Uh, Population is a little bit less. We're about 25,000 seeds per foot. Um, the variety we grew here is a Delta Oak, uh, was it 747? Delta Oak 747, and that's just their, you know, standard um, cotton candy variety. Uh, this year we choose to go with the um, pink and blue variety. Um, it's like a bubble gum, but uh, we have in the past, we've grown uh, grape. What else have we grown? Um, we did watermelon one year. What else did we do? We mainly stick to the pink and blue. Mainly pink and blue is the best. Um, okay, baby. So we're gonna wrap this up. Hopefully you guys learned something. And girls, this is the moment y'all been waiting for. Come in here and pick us some cotton candy. Yep. All right. You wanna pick some cotton candy? Put it in the buckets. Y'all put it in the buckets. Here. Oh, it's stuck to her butt, Randy. Oh, to good. Her butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter Cottontail. <laughs> oh, goodness. Notice I've got a pretty good amount on the ground here. Um, Here, don't lick it. Okay. Oh, mercy, Randy. It's almost too ready. Is it too ready, you think? Yes. It's done. Sticky. Yeah, well, we left this for demonstration purposes. We got the whole field picked. All right, let's see. Atlin, sweetheart. I almost have a full. You don't want to pick any? You notice you get so sticky. Uh, that's the only complaint. Um, There's a lot of stickiness. All right, girls, y'all get it loaded up. Where's the lids? There you go, folks. Cotton candy. You're getting her loaded up. 